Hundreds of Nassau families upset tonight after a verdict on the mishandling and abuse of their loved ones remains. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Jurors found Galilee Memorial Cemetery 99% at fault and nearly two dozen funeral homes only 1% at fault. Local 24 News reporter Annette Pegler is live from Bartlett Cemetery with tonight's top story. Annette. Well, Katina and Richard, I'm told by several families that this is not the decision that they wanted. They fear that they will not be compensated appropriately uh, for their pain and suffering by placing 99% of the fault on Galilee Cemetery and not the funeral homes. Nobody can go and, and be able to, you know, cherish their family member that they miss, man. You know, the funeral home is just taped off, crime scene. So what's going to happen now? Those sentiments were shared by dozens of families hoping for a different verdict than what came down Monday in the case of Galilee Memorial Cemetery. Jurors found about a dozen funeral homes were 1% at fault compared to 99% of fault placed on Galilee. The money that we have wasted paid for a funeral and you know nothing one did right about that so I think we should receive our money back. It's not clear yet if these families will be compensated for botched burials. The cemetery was unlicensed from 20 to 2014. However, jurors found the funeral homes did not breach contracts or mishandle remains. They did find the funeral homes violated a relationship of trust. I hold all of them responsible. Everybody knew what was going on. All of, all of them involved with it. You know, the funeral home, the cemetery. It seemed like the state should have known something was going on. You know what I mean? It's crazy, man. But, I mean, what can we do? During the roughly two-week trial, attorneys for funeral homes say their clients were not to blame for Galilee Cemetery's mistakes that they say led to burying multiple bodies in the same grave. We just praying that everything falls on our side. And tomorrow, a judge will release two additional verdicts focusing on damages and punishment. And I'm told that that court will be back in session beginning at 9 a.m. Reporting live in Bartlett, Annette Pegler, Local 24 News.